Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode where we're just leaving the dock. Where are we? I think we're at yeah, Lockport. There we go. Just at Lockport. It's going to leave the dock here and um, head out and try and find some more um, fish, I guess. So, last episode was a complete time lapse. Um, I know a lot of people don't like time lapses, but due to it being the weekend, uh, family being home, all that sort of stuff, it was either I do a time lapse or I didn't do a video at all. So um, I thought I'd throw in a time lapse for you guys, and hopefully you guys, you know, some of you enjoyed it, some of you didn't. Yeah, I know it's probably going to happen, but at least I got another video out for you guys to check out. So now we have thirty. 5,000 hook long lines. We've actually upgraded from the 2,000 hooks to the 5,000 hooks now that they've um, changed. I don't think that's going to help us, is it? Now that they've um, changed it so that we um, can get 5,000 hooks on our long lines instead of just the 2,000. Let's give a bit of a toot because we're leaving port. Alright, one thing I've noticed as well, if you Hold so you've got the big circle here, and then right click, it actually zooms in so you can look at your panel a bit better. And even look at the window a bit better, which is good as well. That's a little tip that you guys may not know of. Pretty sure it was like that in Baron C as well, I can't remember, but it certainly helps. Right, let's go full steam ahead and head out of port. So I did find quite a bigger bit of fish um, down the southeast part of the map. So we might head back down there again. Probably will throw in... I'm not going to throw in a time lapse, I don't think, this episode. I might throw in a cut, just because of the time lapse. Um, the last episode, of course, but... Let's get out of port past here, and we'll, um... We'll head down there. Where's our fuel? Fuel here, I think. Full tank. I did remember to fill it up. Doesn't happen every time, but I did this time. Look at this little fella. Look at him go. I mean, he'll get to one of our big boats one day. Right, so there we go. We're outside of um, the port of Lockport. Have a look at our map now. So here, Silver Hake seven days ago. Uh, down through here is where I notice a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of redfish here. Swordfish I've seen actually swimming on top of the surface here while um, pulling the lines in, I think. Uh, Pollock, actually it might have been setting the lines, 14 hours, yeah. Um, Pollock and Tuna and all that down here, there was a huge amount, so I think I'm going to head back down here again. But I think I might head down, like, and maybe start here somewhere and sort of head down this way and see what we can actually find. So I'm not sure that might have been a tip that we've found. Uh, having a look around, there's still boats up here, unfortunately. There's some tuna there, that's, I think, their tips there, the ones that we've put in, their tips from eight days ago. Remove those. We'll start to turn, and I'll have a bit of a look here. Look at that, there's a huge amount of fish here. Alright, let's um, throw on our work lights. Let's throw out, I usually throw out, um, his name, Thomas, is it Thomas? No, Rudy, Rudy Smith is who I usually use, so we'll throw him out to set some long lines. Now, I want to try and see what speed we actually set these long lines at. They're all set with, um, I think is it krill? Or mackerel, mackerel, there you go, mackerel, close. So look at the amount of fish that are down here. That's good. A lot of tuna out here still, actually. A lot of tuna. Redfish. Silver hake. Uh, pollock. All that sort of stuff. So that's good to see. Come on, buddy. Let's go. The 5,000 hooks. I'm thinking... If we throw out 10... Throw out 10 to start with, I think will work. So we throw it out. We'll see how fast the boat actually goes. I think it's only five knots, isn't it? 
maybe seven knots. All right, let's um, go here, change that to seven. So it always does seven knots. And then we'll just head back down here. Um, I might take that. What I'll use is I'll use cod. Just I'll just throw cod in when I find, you know, decent, decent amount of fish. So now we can come back here and keep fishing again. See, it's weird that it speeds us up to seven, and then it's we're only doing like four. Yeah, I think it must be five knots. As I say, I didn't think it was seven. We throw it down at five knots. That's going to help us a little bit. Um, so one of the guys, one of you guys actually come in and said you need to upgrade your hook and all that sort of stuff. And now I did that episode one, but now I remember because of um, the bugs and stuff we had to start again. So I've had to re-update um, our binoculars. So now we've got the really good binoculars. You can see the nits in this guy's hair. Um, we've got the good knife and we've got the good hook as well for when we go to line these, reel these things in. Just going to make make a big difference, I think. So with this being 5,000 hooks, it's now 500 meters instead of the 200 meters. So going to take a little bit more time to to set them and reel them back in and stuff. Jump back in our captain's chair. So we're running up to 250 meters. So yeah, it's going to take a while to. Uh, run these out. I think I was going to run out 10 was my plan. Run out 10 and I was going to skip forward maybe 8 hours uh, maybe run out another 10. Maybe skip forward 6 hours and run out another 10 or something along those lines. Because I want to actually let's we'll work it out. Whatever's half of 18 we'll skip forward. We'll throw out some more lines and then we can come back and get them and take it in if we've got a full load, come back out and we can grab our second set of lines that we've actually thrown in the water. I want to try and always make sure we've got lines soaking somewhere. It's going to make a big difference, I think, for us making money. Uh, finance screen. Oh, don't even need that. There we go. 785,000, so we've nearly got enough to buy our Knots Guilty. But I know some people have still been saying there's a, they're having issues with... Um, the lobster fishing and stuff so we're just gonna have to wait till lobster season and people are telling me unless you see two or three lobsters you know within like the hundred meter thing here don't bother dropping them and apparently this is where the boat is currently driving over this line here so obviously we're not driving any, over any fish we've just picked up a couple of fish along here some crabs so I'd like to give the lobster fishing a go, but from what I've seen, it's not very profitable. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. All right, so let's um, let's actually take off. So I don't know. If we should kind of let the boat do its own thing or should we just you know, take off as quick as we can and throw it out and then the boat will slow down and hopefully autopilot will keep it going to five-ish knots so it doesn't take as long to set these guys it does take quite some time to get them set but I want to try and um, cut out the majority of the boring stuff so you guys aren't sitting here for you know an hour while I'm setting lines because it does take quite some time. I think the the video I did um, yesterday, the full time lapse video, took me nearly two hours, two and a half hours, I think. Um, by the time I left port, set the lines, hold all the lines in, went back to port, it was like two and a half hours or something like that. So it was crazy how long it actually takes. But want to try and you know cut it out for you guys so you guys aren't sitting here watching the whole thing but um, what I'll do now guys is we're just about up to 10 minutes so I'll throw in a bit of a cut here I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to start hauling in our first line and we'll um see what sort of fish we have on there hopefully it's going to be some big numbers 
Rightio guys, we're back. Let's get some guys out working. So I think, is it Thomas? Isaac, no. Isaac is our long liner. I think... Sandy... No, it's Rudy and both these guys are the ones that are good at... Um, are good at long lining, hauling them in. So let's um, hopefully head over and get this guy picked up. Use some side thrust just to get over there a bit quicker. Come on, reel it in. What do you? What, what was wrong with that? What was wrong with that? Oh, I'm at the wrong angle. Never mind. Sorry. I thought I was at the right angle, but obviously maybe not. Oh, definitely not. You can see where the. You can see where the the line is. Can I turn enough here? Probably not. Right, that might be enough. I thought I had it lined up nice and. And good, obviously, wasn't quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Right, let's try and turn left. Turn, turn. Try not to kill the boy. There we go, finally. Right, let's go down and see uh, what he's actually reeling in. Hopefully we get a decent amount out of this um, first line. That would be awesome. So I threw down 10 lines, I can show you guys, um, 10 lines down here. Then I slept until this was 10 hours I think, and then threw down some more. So the last one's 14 and a half hours, and this one's got 8 hours, so about 6 hours difference. So hopefully this will fill our boat, we can go and sell them and come back and then reel our next lot in. Make enough money to, I don't know, look at another boat maybe? Not sure what else we can we can go with. I'd like to do some trawling, but it's just a matter of um, getting enough money to buy a trawling boat. I think the Lunar Bow is the only one that's bugged at the moment, so yeah, I'm not, not quite sure. I just thought we can actually use Silver Hake. We've got two Silver Hake in there, I think. No idea what that was, because he pretty much just threw it at me. Check out his nits. Mm. Can't see any at the moment. Must have washed his hair. That was a perfect. So I can't even tell what he's throwing in there. God, that is terrible. Look at the... Look at the brightness on their heads. Luckily they're not bald. Otherwise it'll be extra bright. It's a silver hake for days. Got silver hake, I think. Oh, it's a Pollock or Haddock. Silver Hake. Pollock or Haddock. Pollock or Haddock. Uh, redfish. Pollock or Haddock. Yep. Right, let's go back up the top and we'll wait and see what's going on up here. So she's um, resting. There's not much she can do, to be honest. She could probably prepare gear and we could throw it out at the same time as we reel it in, but it's really not going to be worth it. Don't think. Have a look and see. Population. So it didn't look very good, but I think it was just a bit of a glitch there for a second. Yeah, it's playing up a little bit the sonar again. 160,000. So if we get 15,000, I think that'll be enough to fill the boat on average. But we're getting you know anywhere between five and eight two thousand hooks so we might have only needed eight long lines to be honest so we'll get this one uh, reeled in and we'll head towards the next one I did try and leave a decent gap between them more than a hundred meters just so that way we make sure we're not minimizing our our haul and that sort of stuff So let's um while he's doing that, let's shut this door. It's raining, it's cold. It was it perfect to finish this off? Twenty one thousand, and that's pretty good. Probably gonna be a little bit too much though. Right, so let's move this out a bit. We'll go full steam ahead towards our next one. 
What did we actually get most of? We've got over 2,000 haddock, nearly 2,000 silver hake, redfish, pollock, and cod. So haddock and silver hake, but haddock's got the most weight, so that wasn't too bad. Now let's try and find. Uh, there's our boy just there. So we'll head towards it. It's hard to see. I don't think the light's quite bright enough on that boy. So I've lost it again now. Oh, there it is. It's start to slow down and we'll I want to go a little bit past it and swing left. That way we're um, going to make sure we're not the wrong angle to actually reel it in, which we should be alright. Right, let's slow ourselves down. I think it's running that way. I think I can see the other boy up here somewhere. Usually when you get in a little bit closer you can see the line. Yep, definitely. That's a lot better. Right, so we'll let him reel this one in and we'll see um see what he gets. Did our chair move again? I don't think it moved, did it? Forward. Have a look and see what he's doing. I don't know if it's worthwhile doing that or zooming in a little bit. I think it's better. This. So Pollock, I think. I can only just see these guys' heads. They look like they're working. Look at him go. He's going all right. So I think um, once he's done Pearl, I think Pearl's not too bad. Uh, long line, actually she's probably not great. Thomas is definitely the next best. I think, yeah, Thomas and then Pearl. I think Thomas is really good at machine gunning. 1200 an hour, he's 1125. I don't think she's quite as good machine gunning. At the end of the yeah, that's it there. So he's nearly nearly finished. Only another four more to throw on board, and some decent fish. Actually, what I'm in here seems like this one's broken too. Can we change green? I think we can. Come here. There we go. That's better. The shows a lot more fish on here. Once it actually loads in, looks a lot. There's a lot more on this screen, like that, than there is on this one. Thirteen thousand kilos. Well, there we go. Actually, that's a that's a huge population, and that's a decent amount of lobster too. So let's throw a lobster in here. You can see a huge amount of lobster there. There's like four or five. Right, where's our next boy straight ahead over here. Righto guys, I'll throw in a um, another cut here. I'll get the rest of these hauled in. Another eight lines to go. When we get to our last one, I'll bring you guys back and we'll see how much weight we've got on board and um, we'll go and make some sales and make some more money. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a sec. Righto guys, we're coming up on our last line. We've got 150,000 in, um, well, obviously, weight on board. We got 8,000 cod, 8,000 haddock, silver hake, some pollock. So we've got heaps of cod again at the moment. Um, haddock, we've got the most haddock as far as um, gutted at the moment. Uh, how's everyone doing? I think everyone's doing pretty good. Where's... Yeah, Isaac might be able to get this last line and that's it. I think he's going to be tired after that. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, let's check on these other guys. He's doing alright. You're getting a little bit tired, but he should be able to go for a little bit longer yet. Hopefully we can get all this gutted before we head into into port. That'll be good. So that way we're not wasting too much time coming down for our other long lines, which I'll probably get them done off camera, I guess. Um, I want to bring you guys back again, but... Well, 
you guys let me know what you want me to do. Do you want me to show you guys a lot of the grinding stuff or just sort of skip through a lot of that stuff? Let me know. I think once the game is free of bugs and stuff, we might start again as like a season two and and do like a full on grinding series. Rather than sort of, you know, skipping through really quick with all the tuner and that sort of stuff. I guess we'll um we'll have to see how we go. Right, so he's getting that brought in. Thomas is getting tired. Rudy's pretty good. So Pearl's not great at machine gunning, but she needs to... She'll get better eventually, I hope. Um, so you look at the fish under here. There's still heaps of... Look at the crab and lobster and stuff galore down here. Um, I'm going to put a marker in here for both of those. I don't know if that's going to matter because it's not the season for them. But maybe when the season comes, this might be an area that they're actually going to populate. Oop, now, so now it's changed. There we go, it's going back again. Look at them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lobster. I think that might be like a double crab, so like eight lobster and six crab. Six crab, That's that's pretty good. So we should hopefully get a full boat once he's finished reeling this line in. We only need 10,000. Some, I think I had one that was like 18,000, one that was like 8,000. So it's still up and down a little bit, but, you know, we're bringing in quite a bit. I think 10 lines was definitely the right amount. Any more than that, we're going to waste quite a bit. Any less than that, we're probably not going to fill the boat. Considering we're in such a populated area, I know this is a lot of tuna. That's pretty much all tuna and swordfish here, though. That's crazy. I thought tuna and swordfish season was over September. Uh, swordfish, August, October. Uh, June to September. I know, so it's still, still the same season. It's nearly the end of September, so tuna season will disappear at the end of this month in a few days' time. Still bringing in quite an amount of um, cod, which isn't really worth that much. I want to try and avoid getting as much cod as we can. So those guys have a lot of um, a lot of fish to gut. We're only at forty three thousand. Be good if we could get a second machine. We did upgrade this one from machine one machine to machine times two, which allows two people to work on it. But it'd be good if we could get like a machine times four so we can get a second machine behind it and have four people working on that. Considering how big the hold is. I'm pretty sure we have to gut it before we can sell it as well. Um oh. That was like thirty two thousand. That's crazy good that is. Fortunately, we threw a lot of fish back, but... Right, let's have a look. Um, actually, let's have a look and see what we've got the most of. So, 40,000, 50,000. So, still haddock. Haddock and cod are the best, or the most we've got. So, Lockport and Dennis Point again. Uh, Lockport... God, they are terrible prices. Uh, Dennis points. I think they're terrible prices too. What's that one? That's redfish. has dropped quite a bit. Wow. Well, let's have a look through. Nothing great in there. Lunenburg. Pollock is pretty good. Cod is 86 cents. Lunenburg, but it's just so far away. Ingles Head. Pollock is 566. Haddock is alright as well, actually, there. Digby. Digby's good for Pollock and Cod. Dennis Point. Uh, Digby. It's probably where we should go, but where's Digby? Digby's. Uh, not up there, is it? No, Digby's like. All the way up here. Yeah, it's a Yarmouth. Dennis Point or Lockport. 
Uh, Yarmouth, terrible. Dennis Point. Still really bad. Uh, Lockport. I think Dennis Point. Definitely the best. But it's still not great. So we're heading back to Dennis Point, I guess. Alright, so we'll head up here. We'll get ready to go in. Let's get rid of this. So I want to get them going. I think someone's going to end up tired, so I need to keep an eye on them. How are they going? We're going to sure. I don't know how we're going to go by getting back there in time. Both doing alright, how are they going? Yeah, still got a lot more ungutted than we have gutted. I'm gonna stop here again. How's he going? So he didn't tell me he was too tired then. God, that's annoying. Isaac, his, his Isaac's machine gunning is a lot better, so he can go into there. Uh, you can eat. I don't think you need to eat. No, you don't. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully they're not going to be too bad, but these are, yeah, these are already ready to go. They're going to be probably average by the time I get back down there, fortunately. Um, still got a little bit to go yet. Yeah, by the time we get back down here, they're going to be crap, but we'll still have to go and get them, obviously. Um, Alright, turn all this stuff off. How are those guys going? 50,000 kilos still. Um, she can't even see that from there. That's a bit annoying. Ooh, that water looks really weird. Because we're fast travelled, I think. Um, there's Rudy. He's doing alright. How's Thomas? Thomas is good. Take Rudy out. Put Thomas in. How is Isaac going? Isaac's definitely better than Rudy. try and get it done as quick as we can. So where's our... Well, that water is really weird. I think it's just because we fast travelled. Where's the actual... dock part? I think it's like way in here somewhere, isn't it? Might give him enough time to get that finished. Hoping. Not really changing only when I move it away. It's gone pretty quick there. Um, actually, where are we going? Gone way past it. It didn't even come up. Ugh. Let's do a turnaround. Or if that's gonna help. Uh, probably not gonna help. That might help better with a turnaround, there we go. Oop, wrong button. Right, so go full reverse. Eventually, there we go, now I can turn. Go a bit right hand down. Just give it a more time to gut the fish, really. Me going the wrong bloody way. Right, let's go full steam ahead. Okay, should start going forward. So I couldn't even see the um, the spot. It must be just the other side of this dock there. It's really not a very big port, though, is it? So we're gonna have to skip forward a little bit of time, I think, to give these guys 
some time to get it finished. It should be the other side here, but I can't actually see anything coming up. It's really weird, it's still not there. But there it is. Let's try it. Push ourselves over a little bit. Just enough so we hopefully we can Dock at Dennis Point. Uh, no. Let's go general. Skip time. We'll go one hour. Right, how are they going? Still need more time. I think we're going to lose that string I've got out there. Fortunately. Uh, we've still got a little bit. I think we're going to have to go with like another another couple of hours I think Oop, let's not smack the dock if we can avoid it skip time we'll go two hours should be yep all done okay you guys can get back and rest Something to eat. Not that it really helps us anyway. Oop. Like to be able to dock here again if we can. There we go. Bit of hull damage, but I'm not worried about that. Right, let's sell our fish on board. This is what annoys me. It takes so long to load this. I don't know if it's loading the prices or the catch or a bit of both. I'm not really sure. Takes a little bit of time though, which is a bit annoying. I do like the way that um, the prices fluctuate and stuff, but it's just... With us having those extra lines out, I didn't want to travel too far to make the next sale, but I think if we just throw out, say, 10 lines at a time, 10 lines, reel them in, um, maybe we can throw out 10 lines again while they're still gutting, and then go... Um, sell, come back, get our 10 lines back in, throw 10 lines back out again while they're gutting, and then go and sell, come back. It wouldn't matter how far we sort of travel then. But come on. This is getting beyond a joke now, having to wait this long. It is quite frustrating having to wait to sell our fish. I know they're trying to work out how many millions upon millions we're going to make. Come on. Very, very frustrating. It's not there in the next 10 seconds. I'll put a cut in. Oh, there we go. It takes a bit of... bit of a threat. So Haddock is down low, Pollock is down low, Redfish is low. Very bad, very bad, 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 good. What can we do? We're just going to have to take the bad price, I guess. Um, get some fuel. That, I don't think it's actually purchasing it. Doesn't seem like it is. Um, let's grab... Oop, no tips. Cargo run. Don't really want to do that. Um, fishing gear. Bait long lines. Unbaited. So... The cod is the light... Got the bluey colour. Krill and mackerel give us the least amount. 
of cod. So let's go with um, mackerel. I get them all baited. Um, at the moment, let's see what we can um, buy from here. I don't think we really need to buy anything, but uh, the, the full of follow blend, the legend, and the full throttle, which we had before, of course. Um, we still have our ocean runner if you want to sell that, but I think I want to keep that. Might be able to use this for the lobster as well. Instead of having to buy that other boat, wouldn't be too bad. Uh, and the Mickey, of course, we could use that to do some um, deep line or harpooning again. Alright, so um, services. Can we get. Yeah, I want to get that. We'll add that to the basket. And insurance. I don't think we're going to sink our boat, so let's just grab um, rescue service that way. In case something happens, we're not going to be left out at sea. Alright, let's reverse back and let's get um, Thomas, Isaac. Let's go with Pearl, she can actually repair. Right out, guys, what I'll do is I'll go and get these other lines in and. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next episode. You guys let me know what you think. Um, what we should do. This is kind of repetitive doing this at the moment. I want to try and show you guys the crab and um, the lobster fishing and that sort of stuff. But I I still would like to do a proper series. Maybe start again from the start and um, just go over it. You know, week by week, day by day sort of thing. And not skip forward too much and just see how we go. But um, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you want to see it continue, and if you're happy with starting all over again and um, doing like a, a full proper series without skipping anything. Um, obviously I'll still put in cuts here and there, but without skipping, you know, through months and that sort of stuff, let me know. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.